Hi guys, hopefully you can hear me. I have you a little bit far back. I just couldn't get it leveled. Maybe it's leveled now, I don't know. I wanted to pop on real quick and share with you some of my latest hauls. And one of them was from the Disney store and they're called the Munchlings, Disney Munchlings. This is, I didn't think he was gonna be this big. This is Stitch, but it is called Pineapple Upside Down Cake Stitch. It says Baked Treats and on the inside has some information, but I always get these Disney points on the Disney Visa card. And so it's like little free money to play with. You know, every two, three months I look at it to see what I have earned. And I just think this is so cute. I was like, I love Stitch, but in gold, I just thought, wow, this guy's awesome. And When you first get them out of the package, they have a strong bakery smell. I can tell uh, he's been out of his package for about two weeks. I can tell he's starting to lose his smell. It's not as strong as when it first comes in the package. And then this much munchling, this is the ice cookie latte Mickey. And I just thought they're so cute. And same thing with him. I smell him more here, um, but he is starting to lose his smell too. So when you first get him out of the package, it's a strong smell. I don't know if you're sensitive to smells or not, but in the beginning, it's a strong smell when you get him out of the package, but then it's like the smell starts to die down. Then I wanted to talk about an Etsy haul that I did. It's called In The Bag Design. They are local to Florida. Uh, it says it comes from Miami, Florida. And I like their scarves because I've had Burberry scarves, Fendi scarves. Um, my friend has had some Louis Vuitton scarves and even the Alexander McQueen. But I bought some scarves because usually I gift them to my friends. And each one of the scarves is about $20.76. I also used to buy some Nordstrom scarves when they would go on sale. They're like, um, I wanna say 50% silk and 50% wool. Uh, you know, like the designer kind of scarves. But I found this one from the Etsy shop in the bag design. Like I say, they're coming from Florida. And I thought, wow. This really gives me Burberry type of feels here. It's really nice and it's not too thin because if I do one layer and see in Florida, it doesn't get that hot. So we in Florida could even use this with a thermal jacket in the winter, put this around our neck and it will do what it needs to do to keep us warm because like I said, we're not in a super cold climate and we hardly ever get a winter. But this is like their little tag. It says in the bag. And I also got from them, I wanted a black one. I wanted something unique. I really didn't care for the tassels too much, but you can always cut those and I mean, they're not that hard to cut and you won't cut into the scarf. I even think it's like shows this little kind of loop what it's on. Let me see if I can get closer. This little loop here. So it's not going to really ruin it if you cut off the tassels. I think some of the reviews showed that they had cut off the tassels, but same concept. It can be dressed down, casual wear, airport outfit, or um, you can really dress this up with a blazer. Blazer, khaki, um, pants. 
actually black pants, black dress pants, khaki pants. This looks like it has a gray and khaki tint to the butterfly, but the scarf itself, the background is black. So I thought that's really nice and dressy. And they also have this one with the, cause I love the leopard print. And a friend of mine gifted me this. And this is what got me into the company to begin with. This was my introduction into the In The Bag company. And it doesn't cost a lot, but I'm telling you the material is equivalent to the one that you find on these designer websites. And for $20, you can't beat that, especially I saw in the reviews at wedding parties, the bride gives these scarves away to like the wedding party as gifts. And then they take pictures um, of the whole wedding party with the scarves on. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then this one is not local. This one comes from the United Kingdom. Um, so it takes about two weeks to get here to the USA. It's called Equestrian Hills Etsy Shop. Now this one is thicker, as you can tell. This is a thick design, you can't see through it. But I thought with the leopard print, since it's my favorite, and the little purses, I really love that design. And you can get it with different colors, but I chose orange because I thought it would be a nice fall color. I just really liked it. So this, this thicker one from Equestrian Hills Etsy shop runs you about $39 but sometimes they run promos and you could possibly get it between 25 to $30. So keep your eyes out on those. Why spend $500, $800 on a designer scarf when you can get the same amount of quality using either Equestrian Hills or the In The Bag Design shops on Etsy. Well, that's it for the hauls that I have for today. I have more hauls coming. I just don't like to put too many different companies or stores in one because then it makes it difficult for me to title it and it's harder as a consumer to find if you want to get a quick review on an item that you're looking for. But this one was on the scarves on that you can find on Etsy. Very fine quality. And of course, these little munchlings equivalent of the squishmallows um, but I like these because you can tell they're thicker so you can't squish them as hard like the squishmallows are like pillows but oh I just squished him and I, I got more of a scent that I thought was gone from him let's squeeze him and see do you have a strong scent okay now I smell you okay I wasn't squeezing him in the right spots. <laughs> so yeah, just know that if you gift these in the beginning when they open them, they're gonna get a woof of this bakery smell, kind of like a toast, cinnamon toast, um, bakery breakfast type of smell. But in a couple of days, it, it will start to dwindle. I think if you keep squeezing them, there will be remnants of the smell still on the items, but I can see that these guys, they they will lose their scent. They are scented, but they will lose their scent. So if you're sensitive to smells, um, just know that if you can live with the fact that it won't be ascended as long, uh, maybe you can open it up and leave it in the garage open and the scent will go away, I don't know. I wouldn't tell you to put it outside on the screen porch because if you did that, it would start smelling like the outside. Like when your kids come in from being outside that you can tell they've been outside. <laughs> Not a sweaty smell, but like an earthy smell. So mm, your best bet so that they can still um, be in new condition, open them up, leave them in the box, opened in the garage, 
and the scent should not bother you too much after two weeks. So that's it for this review. Um, let me know in the comments below if you do end up purchasing from In The Bag Design. You can tell them that you heard from this channel uh, about their store. Or also let me know if you end up ordering from Equestrian Hills. The ship time is not too bad for where it's coming from and it's very good quality. So these earrings come from Serena Sparkles. Um, and there's an other jewelry company that I really like from Etsy and I'll link all these below. Not only Serena Sparkles Canada, but also the other store that I like to buy my jewelry from is ERS ERS Jewelry Design. And they have um, very good jewelry. I've also bought from Etsy Brussels Gold New York City. It's Brussels, B-R-U-S-S-E-L-S, -S -S -E Gold, N-Y-C. And the other company that has had fine jewelry on Etsy is D-I-A, Dia Fine Jewelry. They've been also good. And I want to say delivery time between a week to two weeks on a lot of these jewelry companies. And also I have ordered from Elite 59 for any kind of um, necklaces. Let's see, do I have some here? Which ones did I get from you? Okay, I bought this chain. I just dropped one. This chain right here, it's like a beaded chain. I don't know if it's gonna pick up the bead but it's like really tiny it looks like really fine i got this from um elite 59 on etsy that's a very good company and i got similar hoops to these on elite 59 um they basically look the same and for the hoops they are 10 karat gold it's 127 dollars the chains go up a little bit more than that but you can find them starting uh, 100 and up depending on how thick you want your chain to be and how long and then also the other company that has been pretty good is let's see where is the ring this moissanite ring let's see if I can put it on hold on I gotta pick up all the jewelry that I have dropped here on the floor so let me put the jewelry back so I can show you the rings a little bit better all right this moissanite ring right here I don't know if I'll pick up really clear but it's pretty big this is a 4.5 carat moissanite and it was only $69.53. So I mean for the amount that you will spend buying jewelry at the airport store or little boutiques, you can actually get something. So if I put it on my wedding finger, that's what it would look like. So from far away. And it kind of shows it's not going to, the stone's not going to fall off. Sometimes when it's a big stone, you think it's going to fall off. And you can also get it, let's see if I can find it, with the wedding band. This is um, 18 karat gold. Yeah, white gold. So these are both white gold. Um with CZ diamonds so I had gotten it so when I travel I can easily put these together I usually like doing this put this guy down and then this is the oops the little anniversary band from the same company this comes from Sam's Jewels Art that's S-A-M-S j-e-w-e-l-s art a-r-t so you can either put them together this way 
or if you want to do it the traditional way where this guy goes first we'll put the anniversary band first and then the ring to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like now this gold ring I don't know how close I can get so that you can see it's got like little stars on it I don't know if it's gonna focus on it or not but this one right here is from All right, this is from the DIA Fine Jewelry Company. This is uh, 10 karat gold. And depending on what you want your band, if it's plain, it's of course gonna be cheaper, but they have products from $100 and up. But I like these pieces because you can always combine them together depending on, because I like to wear two-tone jewelry and my idea on getting, oops, sorry, I moved the stand. My idea on getting the gold band is to put them together like this if I ever wanted to mix my metals and do two-tone. And that's why I got those together like that. Also, I got the gold band and the silver band. The gold band and the silver band. Let me tell you, this silver band that says, oops, I keep moving the stand, that says the word love on it, they sell other kinds of, of bands. But I like this one that said love. I got it in sterling silver. You can get it in gold if you want. 14K, I believe 10K um, from the ERS jewelry design on Etsy. And I got it because then you can also, the same gold band that I had just showed you with the set, I can put them together like this. And I thought this was cool. When you put them together. Like a, like a little set. I just like having flexibility in my jewelry because I like to mix and match my jewelry. I don't want to just stick to one particular way of wearing my jewelry. So I like having the different kinds of options. Now, the gold earrings. Now these are thin. These are from the company, let me tell you again. Where's the big hoops from? The big hoops are from Elite 59. So at first they seem, I wanted something light, but they are pretty thick. They have this little, design on them and I wanted them to be I think on the large side so you can get smaller for less and the smaller ones they sell smaller ones but I think I got my smaller ones from a recent company and I like getting gold so I can swim in them if if, if I forget to you know take them off I don't want to have to worry about ruining my jewelry. I try not to put them in those scenarios like the swimming pool or um, the shower. These are from Serena Sparkles Canada. These are a, a thicker 10 karat gold um, hoop. And they look like this. Just like that, more of a businessy look. But I did like having the long hoops since I knew it was gonna be casual. I wasn't gonna be doing anything that where I was gonna be exerting myself. And I thought they looked pretty cool with my hat because I had the leopard hat on with some of the leopard on the shirt. So I thought that was cool. 
but yeah check out etsy i will go ahead and put these websites down and um let me know in the comments below if you purchase any of these okay and if you do purchase from them put them send them a message telling them that you found out about them through this channel and of course they will love to hear that uh, of course none of this is sponsored this is all um different items that i have gotten as anniversary gifts throughout the years and these companies are still around um they do produce solid items that you don't have to worry about paying for and wonder am i going to get them in the mail um, they're pretty solid even though for instance serena sparkles comes from canada ontario uh, the love ring comes from istanbul turkey um the scarves like i said uh, one of the scarves comes from florida the other one the thicker one comes from the united kingdom um some of this oh the ring that the gold ring comes from nashville tennessee so you can have confidence that you will get your items in the mail even if it says the international places because as you can see i've been able to receive mine they haven't been broken or damaged in any way or form and so they are highly regarded with their reviews on etsy so that's why i stand behind them and from my own personal experience so I hope you have the same good experience as I have had with these different companies. And until then, see you next time. Bye.